L'artiste est le créateur de les très peu choses. Je ne suis pas l'artiste, ni pas le créateur. Je suis l'observateur. I want to work in film and television. That's what I love, that's what I like to do. So that's what I'm going to pursue and do. I hope to go into advertising or journalism. I just wanted to see how I, how I could push film and how I could create film and experiment with it. I didn't come from a media background before. Uh, I came from an acting background, but they're kind of like in the same field, really. So I'd like to do something between the two. I also want to sort of have the freedom to keep pushing myself in my own in my own way, in my own style of photography. I don't want to just be forced down one alley of just churning out sort of um, commercial images. I want to be able to work but also continue pushing my, my art. Yeah, it looks alright. I'll let you in. Whether it's something like PR, where you have to use a bit of Photoshop and web design as well. I think it would be something like this. I think everyone's got these dreams of what they want to be and, you know, as I love photography, I think everyone wants to be like the next David Bailey, you know. Ideally, I'd like, I'd like to become a director, either a British film director or um, independent movies. To make music videos, that I would absolutely love to do that. But if not, then my next love is photography, so I'd love to do that. You can take all of your interests, as it were, that I had, and I was able to channel them into documentary or making something, and I realised that documentary making, for me, was, um, was, was more suited, was suited my personality, because, of course, it helped me um, channel it, as it were. So yeah, I guess I want to be a documentary maker. God help me. The problem is that I drink 12 hours a day. The problem is that I don't see it as much. The problem is that I don't see it as much. The problem is that I don't see it as much. The problem is that I don't see it as much. The problem is that I don't see it as much. The problem is that I don't see it as much. The problem is that I don't see it as much. The problem is that I don't see it as much. The problem is that I don't see it as much. To niestety, kurwa, wiesz, boję się, że, że mi kurde 30% ruchania, wiesz, odpadnie, bo pojedą, ja pierdolę, no kurwa, co to za dziad, jest, wiesz, dam wytnij to, ile mam lat, nie, Na, napisz, napisz, kurde, że, 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 że musisz troszkę pozmieniać, lat 29, nie? It's up to you what you want to do, and it's up to you to decide where you want to go, which is why I like this course, and I like the, the freedom and the openness of have, of being able to do what you want to do. Having a facilities and using the equipment as well is really important because we've got really good equipment up here. To take pictures, to develop it. I had done it before once and back home I didn't have the chance to continue that. And that was really good to do. I like that. It's been really nice to have a nice big mix of web design and photography and uh, it's just been learning some new skills that I haven't ever tried before and sort of doing stuff I've never ever thought of doing um, and it's been really really good fun learning everything it's been really nice to sort of see what I can get up to going forward now in the future. I think it'll probably just be meeting the people to be honest because I've made so many really close friends and that. Tom? What? You alright? Yeah. Yeah I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help it, she's fit. But also the fact of all the facilities and stuff have um, given me the chance to kind of expand my mind as much as possible and I've managed to make some not so good work and some really good work, which is cool. And I've kind of, it's made me realise what works with me and what doesn't and what I prefer. I'm, for example, really interested in documentary making, but I also know how to do other things like make websites, um, photography, uh, films, lots of like genres, but I had the opportunity to focus in and then through the course know what I would I would become as an artist, I suppose. My first flash mob had only five participants. My second had eight. 
For my third flash mob, I was determined to have success. Working, working with mediums like such as photography and films it has made me look more into the sort of theory side of things. Like, for instance, the piece I've got in the exhibition is a, it's a piece about surrealism. And Do you want a drink? I've never done a show at this scale before. Um, I did for my A-levels. I did a, sh a smaller show, but that was still image. While this year, I focused more on um, moving image because that's what I want to do in the future. It's really exciting, and I'm a bit nervous to show my film um, uh, to the public. And I hope it all go well. Generally, I mean, really, I've been very impressed the way it's come together, and it's yeah, it's been. It's, it's been interesting, it's been an experience, a real experience to work with it. I've seen how hard it is to work behind the scenes and get everything done by the deadline. Like we're still making DVDs an hour before the show was up and that's quite hard and stressful but seeing it's all up I think it, the work's really good and it's, everyone's come along such a long way since the first year. And I think it's been great to see the different results that everyone's come out with and the different ideas that people have had regarding it um, and it's been a great turnout. There's been lots of people here, really good atmosphere, everyone's been really supportive and really interested in your pieces and people asking questions to each other. Uh, and it's just been really good fun to put together a show. I think it's a great experience to, for us to put on a show, especially in our first year, because it can only develop and, and progress and get better. And a lot of people on the course are going to be doing this when they graduate, so it's, we're being prepared for the professional world, really. And everything that's done is done in a professional manner as if it was a real exhibition, because it is a real exhibition. Media arts is mainly what I wanted to get into, like experimenting with film, experimenting with special effects and photography. And uh, it's close to home. It's not far to fly from Jersey, so... It's quite, I wanted to be near the coast and near the beaches. When I read the brochure, when I was reading it, it just, it just came out at me. It was far more interesting than um, the other university, uh, universities I'd applied to. And it just looked really original and unique. It was the location and the people. Um, I think everyone here is a really, so there's a really good crowd of people at Plymouth. There's a really nice atmosphere. But I think it's also important if you go in the sector of media to be creative and to have the challenge to kind of get involved with computer programs that you don't know about and I have the feeling that studying here kind of enabled me to go in the real world. Well, I came through clearing but um, I'm really glad that I did come because it's um, a really, really good place. I'm here on exchange for half a year and I could go to several universities and Media Arts had something with, to do with film and photography, which I really like, which I don't get to do back home. It's just completely different to come down here and be by the sea, and there's just such a complete different mix of people. And obviously when you go to university as well, you get a complete mix as well. But I wanted to kind of broaden my horizons and go a little bit further. Well, I chose Plymouth because I've lived just outside of Plymouth for the last since 1994, so it was local to me and I know the place and I'm comfortable living in Plymouth. I applied to like a lot of universities around the UK and I just decided to come to Plymouth because it's um, seaside and it's really nice and media arts department was really um, fascinating and engaging for me. The facilities were a big, a big, a big deal for me because I wanted, I wanted somewhere not to go and study media studies as such. Which, which originally I had down media studies with English, that's why I applied to all universities, but media arts felt more meaty to me, felt more like, so I can get my teeth stuck into, get some cameras out, go filming, go take some photographs, go design a website or whatever. I really felt like that was a more worthy time, or a wor more worthy way to spend my time and money to be honest. I felt like going out and actually doing it, having some skills at the end of it would, would be a far, greater achievement than going out into the real world not well not not really knowing anything about how everything works, how the industry works. So that's why.